Hi everybody. So I'm sure by the thumbnail, you know what we finna get into. I have, oops, sh I have a Chucky collection from Glam Light. This is a big ass box, like, <laughs> and something keeps shuffling in here. Okay, so to find out what I got, you're gonna have to watch this video. You're gonna have to see how I got this look. Very, uh, Miss Tiff. I did it in your honor, Tiff. <laughs> so this is amazing. First of all, I love how detailed uh, Glam Light was about this collection. I appreciate that. You could tell they really put their hearts in this. It's a small business, POC business, you know, and it's beautiful and it's female owned. How can you not support? I'll admit, I was extremely hesitant because I don't really know indie world, but I'm so excited to be getting into indie brands because they're literally killing it, okay? So, it's your girl, Bunny. I'm going to be always back with the beauty. We ain't going to waste no more time. I don't want no long-ass intro, okay? Let's get it. Bye! <laughs> Hey y'all. Okay, so normally I would have on a white tee, yeah, but I needed to get into character. I needed something a little more badass for today's video because I'm so excited about this. Like, so excited. Y'all have no idea because I have this. <gasps> like, oh my gosh, it's huge. Look at this. This is amazing presentation. Like, are you kidding me? So this is the Glam Light Chucky Collection. Eh. I didn't get everything because I only spend money on things that I will buy. But my hubby and I, we are die hard horror fanatics. Not whores. Whore? Horror. Okay. We love it. We love Chucky. We have a kid one day. Our kid is going to be into horror because uh, they just going to have to get with it. They're going to have to get with the program. But Chucky, the iconic Chucky and Tiffany. Are you kidding me? All right. So let me shut the fuck up and show you guys what's inside. Okay. First of all, like I'm keeping this box, but then I got this. Okay. Now. We're gonna get into it. So I've been on the hunt for a cute mirror. It was only right. I've been on the hunt for one, like just not too heavy to hold because I have MS and my hands get really shaky. And um, not too big, not too small. Okay, girl, so here we are. Let's open her. So exciting. I opened everything, but I have not swatched anything. I haven't tried anything. It's just, oh my goodness. So this is the back of the box. And um, I just love it. So this is the Romance is Dead mirror. It's like got a cute little silicone covering. It says, yep, says Chucky. I love this. I can see my whole face, not too big. Just so y'all know, I'm using this every video from now on. I just want y'all to know that. You're going to be looking at fucking Chucky. Okay? And if you don't watch me, Chucky's going to get you. <laughs> okay, I had to pull off the protective covering. Now, let's get into the next fun part which is the Crazy in Love 15 Shade Palette. Chucky and Glam Light. This is Tiffany and Chucky inspired, but I honestly see like way more Tiffany, which that's what we want. Cause he don't, he don't wear that. Well, duh. Okay, so this is the back. All the information, wait for it. Bow, bow. So it's crazy in love. Isn't that fucking cool? Like, they left no stone unturned with this palette. So the palette itself uh, has a mirror 
but I don't use mirrors that come with palettes. I just don't. So let's get into all the colors. See, this is giving Tiffany. And okay, like the red, the nudie colors are definitely chucky, but like all these purples and smokiness. So it's nighttime here. It's like seven something on a Sunday and I'm not going nowhere. But we're going to make it smoky. We're going to make it fun. So just real quick overview. It's a full fancy face from the, you know, uh, skincare to the entire base is all Fenty. So to keep it in Fenty fashion, darling, I'm just going to use the Fenty eyeshadow primer because it's like really sticky and that's what we want. That's what we want. I've never tried glam lights formula but like the things that i'm into oh no the things that i'm into as of late are the indie brands are coming in the motherfucker clutch for everybody they coming for y'all big ones so beware uh-oh can't have the hair getting stuck what else is new okay it is like one long hair completely yeah go over there <laughs> only me right okay little update i have the most beautiful cute little niecey and she's growing so fast she only been here a couple weeks so shout out to nico titi paya loves you so so much i finally get a niece like i love my nephews but i finally get a niece my little sister had her baby it's amazing such a blessing and just the baby is always smiling. She's so peaceful. We love little Nico. Fenty makes it not only sticky, but also um, more rich, like true tone, how the pigment looks in the pan, okay? First of all, I'm gonna swatch everything, but this black has like red, glitter in it i don't know if you can see it these are like really hard to capture okay so i am going to start with let's be friends which has like cute little bleeding hearts on it okay so not much uh kickback in the pan all right and i'm just going to Let's see, this will be my transition. Oh yeah, this is nice and sticky. This is the perfect gradient sort of gray to purple. And nice and sticky, sticky base. I'm building slowly because this is going to be one of those sexy, smoky looks. Tiff is literally a baddie. The, the motherfucking baddie. See, although this mirror isn't huge, you know how some mirrors can be like very close and then some they make to be far away. This is making it be far away and I love that because then I can bring it if I need to and see my whole face. Oh my God, I love this. Also, Glam Light is Dominican O. You know. Shout out to DR. But I love it. A Dominican woman named Giselle owns it. She's absolutely stunning, super humble, really reaches out to, you know, fans of the brand. And I just I love that about her. You know, the humility is where it's at, like humility for me, top tier. We're on our way, baby. I haven't done a smoky eye in, I don't even remember. <laughs> like I do smoke technically, but like with colors, but like a true rock star smoky look, like pretty much never. <laughs> um. Okay, I'm gonna put Till Death Do Us Pot. It's like a purpley, burgundy, maroon shade. That's my hubby's favorite color. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. 
All right, and I just want to follow. So I'm going to get a blending brush that is this shape. This one's from Hip Dot. I like Hip Dot. That's another good indie company where I'm like, I could fuck with it. Great formula. Okay, so till death do us part. Tap, tap. And then I want that right in the crease. Wow, these are layering so smoothly. Yes. I'm in love. Now I need every single palette from Glam Light. And it's so affordable. So affordable. Y'all are going to be seeing a whole lot more indie brands because they're on the way in the mail. And I love the shape of this Indie Brands brush. Hmm. I think I want to use a matte first and then cover it with a little bit of glitter. Um, let's go into, I'm going to mix. So I'm going to use I Like To Be Hugged and Play Pals with an angled brush. Woo! They was not playing. Oh my goodness. I'm so happy to have this mirror, y'all. All right, and we're just going to concentrate that right in this area. Don't worry, we're going to clean it up. These kind of colors can definitely be intimidating. However, they can be so beautiful, literally on everyone, literally. It's not like, oh, sell this product because it's universal. No, like, I've never seen a bad smoky eye on anyone. I definitely want glitter, but I want to keep it purpley. Okay, and first of all, let me just protect me. Okay, you want to know why? Because this color is called Issue 666. But I am protected. The universe, the Lord, will protect me, okay? So, I'm going to use Issue 666. Oh my, look at the color of the brush and then, yeah, they were not playing. So this is going to go, oopsie, this is going to go over the lid. So far I have zero fallout on my face. I am impressed. And that's really hard to do, to impress me, okay? Oh, oh. and I've heard really good things about their shimmer formula as a matter of fact i just wanted to see how it would look with a brush which it's taking but um y'all know me time to get out the spirit fingers <laughs> i'm really on here before i got my goddamn uh nails done but that's not for like another week so shit i'm too excited about this collection yep looking beautiful wow you see it? Beautiful color. Ooh. Oh, I love this. This is giving date night, eating with a candle on the table, keeping it sexy. This is a smoky, sexy palette. And like, honestly, I don't really wear colors like this. I just don't because I love, like, color, color. However, these muted yet impactful pigments are stunning. So this is like a purple. It has a black base. I can definitely tell it has a black base. This is just what's left on my finger. Um, and it's got like light purple silvery a little a little bit of red pigments but wow stunning okay let's see let me find small angled brush again and it's going down 
I'm gonna, uh, okay. I'm holding it so stupid right now. Okay, I'm gonna get his back just because I want, I'm so curious about like these red glitters and if I'm gonna see them on the eye because sometimes brands, even mainstream do this and you don't even see it. It's just like, why is it there? Okay, you can see it a little bit. Yep, a little bit. Okay, just a little bit. Deepened it some with a true black. It's not ashy. Again, zero fallout on my face. Like, I'm really like, like, you know, when you take them eye t exams, you be like, B, you like that. And, oof. Now I'm collecting you, Glam Light, just so you know. I think this palette was like $34 worth every damn motherfucking penny. Worth every, every penny, ho. Every. Okay, so now I want to do the bottom lash line. To tie it all together, pretty much going to use my transition shade of the one up here, the purpley gray, um, in the center of Let's Be Friends. That's what it's called. Definitely stamping this because now we're in the lower territory, okay? We don't need no, no mistakes. I'm not even going into the pan, like, really dabbing. I'm being, like, the most gentle you can be with this kind of shit, okay? Then, I'm just gonna gently drag, okay? Before I give drag. We're going to do the inner corner, boo. Yo, I be having bars. I don't even be doing it on purpose. It's the songwriter within me. I'm also kind of curious. I want this in my lower lash line, too. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finesse it. So first, I'm going to put Wanna Play in my inner corner. So in person, this is not a flat silver. This metallic has red glitter in it it's like to me giving like oh this would be blood splatter you know so wanna play yep it's got red glitters in it and i am here for that i'm trying to do it with a flat brush but i don't have the pat mcgrath to intensify it, so I'm just gonna have to build it up, maybe a different brush. Bring this back. I try to clean it with care. So the sponge tip, yup, there we go. There we go. See, who the, like, why would you get rid of this? So like, upset. Because when I went to buy a new one, it wasn't on her side no more. It wasn't on Sephora. I'm like, damn, bruh. Always the good stuff becomes like, eh, we're not doing that anymore. Like, oh, no. We love that. Bring it back. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> All right, I'm just also going to place, I'm thinking lower lash line, with a little bit of Wanna Play, the silver just about there y'all know me if 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 you're new here i try to use like as much shades as possible uh just to try out things uh, whether that makes me make mistakes or not um it's all a learning curve when you're starting with brands that you're not familiar with you know it's like worth it to just try everything so 
yeah, I'm Bach. And I really, really want to put something in my lower, but I'm nervous. So I'm going to use a pencil brush by Firma, okay? This is a black-owned synthetic um, brush brand. Um, this is amazing high quality. Like, it, it doesn't even feel synthetic, but I love their pencil because it's very precise. I have other precision brushes from them, but like this right here, let me see. I don't know if I brought it in here. Okay, boom. See, here's another prime example. I try to keep their little things, right? So this right here is even more precise like flat but eh. and firma is amazing and i just i love supporting black business as long as it's good you know you gotta support your people always so i think next i want to put over the gray chucky and tiff forever Look at that. Look at that. Yo, Glam Light, y'all ain't playing with the color payoff. I'm just so impressed. I just wanted to give more sparkle. Yep, this is laying beautifully. More sparkle to the lower lash line. Oh, yeah. Bring it on home. To all the few people who watch it and growing and to the family, if you are looking for amazing high quality shadows, Glam Light is where it's at. Like I'm not shitting you right now because like influencers be like, oh ah, my God, I love it. I'm not that girl. I'm not that girl. But... I do get excited for things that I love and you know they went all out for presentation and amazing formula I can't wait till my hubby sees this I love he gonna be like oh mm. he doesn't even care about makeup but he loves Chucky and when I got the box he was like yo it's fire like I'm keeping I'm keeping everything with this okay because, yeah, th this is where it's at. Okay, so that's enough of that. Now, to really keep it punk rock like Tiff, my girl Tiff, okay? We're going to dip back into the palette once the whole face is done, and then we're going to do swatches. <laughs> <laughs> And I have one more surprise. But first, I am going to put on mascara. Nothing says more punk rock than clumpy mascara. Okay, hella volume though. Clumpy, volumey mascara. And black eyeliner. Are you shitting me? So this is a velvet liner from Pat McGrath. Okay, so this is a velvet liner from Mother Pat. I'm just going to quickly. I love this velvet coal. Highly recommend it. Now, look at that. So easy. I did that in seconds. And this does not fade. It's going to stay all day. I wore this for like six hours once. And yeah. It went nowhere. <sighs> okay, we're done. Oh, and it comes like with the sharpener back here and everything, but we ain't finna get into that right now. I'll take care of that another time. So now, let's get into the mascara. I like Beauty For Real. I love it. This is another indie brand. And this is perfect for my lower lashes because look how big this is. I can't put a big ass wand down there 
I don't know how people do it. I would say Tiff's style is punk rock, and that's what I wanted to put my little bunny spin on it, little bunny finesse or whatever, but keep it punk rock. Because that is Miss Tiff. You know, Tiff was like, Chucky, we have to be better. We need to be better parents. We, we're parents now. We can't just go around just <laughs> motherfucker, just boom. Like, we can't, we can't boom people all day. But Chucky is like, I don't give a shit. <laughs> but Tiff, she always, come on now, Chucky. So, boom. So, I'm going to combo the top with Too Faced Zam Girl because I love this mascara and my good old Fenty Beauty because this is also like a clumpier formula that I live for. Plus, I love the flat to fat action and I'm using it for specifically the curling length side um I like to put whatever's on the tip in my lashes so we're just going to do this real quick also I like putting just a little tip when you put on mascara start from underneath like you are about to put on full lashes but you're not it's this just this angle you can literally see every single lash okay and then now I'm just going to do that. Really get the formula on there. Ugh, my lashes are pretty long and curly, but who doesn't want even more? Because I don't wear falsies like that. It's rare. Maybe once a year. So, this made me very happy. It's very, very happy. Like, Chucky... I just don't know why people just don't do it from jump. So, yeah, if you're doing your lashes like this, like, then you lean in. Like, you can see, but it's not it's not the same effect as underneath. It, it will never be. And it'll save you from being like... <sighs> like all of us do. Just put it on. Just put it on. Look at that wand. Oh, I love it. It just comes out clumpy. All right, and I just like to do this. Because there ain't no rules to make up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's giving volume. I don't know if you guys can see because it's such a smoky, deep, sparkle look. But I can see it. So, in the spirit of completion, that's what we're doing. I, a lot of people sleep on the damn girl, but shoot. I love better than sex mascara, I do, but this one is definitely Zam Girl. Fine. So, Tiff herself, which is another thing I didn't understand, Tiff herself loves wearing red blush. Like, every single image I found close up of Miss Tiff, she was rocking red blush. Like, it was always purpley gray here and red blush and a deep lip. So anywho, I'm going to pull out Mother Pat Night Bloom. Look at that. So pretty. Okay. And then I want to use a big ass brush because so I could really feel like a doll. Like a doll, honey. And I'm just going to, I want it to spread out. This is a large angle brush, which is like more for like bronzer, I think. Okay, this just says complexion, um, but ain't no rules to make up. <laughs> Do whatever the fuck you want and enjoy it, okay? We only got one lifetime on this planet. So do what you want. Do what makes you happy. Whatever makes you feel beautiful and confident. So ready to take on the world do that baby just do it okay so we're gonna put mother pad away so beautiful let me put a little bit on my nose whatever's left okay and then next we're going into ruby riches <laughs> ruby riches from fenty beauty 
I just love that I am using makeup from people of color between like this Alamar, I think that she's Cuban. Um, the tools, the everything, pretty much is majority female owned and PLC owned. So because this is just a gorgeous shimmery blush, more satin finish, I'm going to mix. We're going for it because, yeah, Robin Rihanna Fenty, she don't play. And I just want this to just glow. Oh, my God, it's even more beautiful. Husband, can you please zoom in so everyone can see this? No, I'm not even trying to do the fake influencer, but it's literally like these two products were made for each other. This is the first time I'm putting it on both. What? Yeah, baby. All right, now, so I got this Laura Mercier, um very very glittery setting powder um in cosmic rose so i'm just gonna pat a little bit out um i'm very confused by this product how i wanted to put it under foundation but i didn't have enough time today to experiment and possibly it's horrible and i gotta start all over <laughs> um it might look it's literally called a setting powder but it's like it's straight up okay let me just put some on my hand like look at this it's basically a highlighter however sheer it out i i think she was going for an overall glow because that does look pretty but i think i'm gonna try it underneath foundation one of these days anywho i'm just going to use the shade cosmic rose as highlighter Oh my god, you see what I'm saying? Like, how is this a setting powder? Like, puta, puta, L Laura, where are we going? Where are we going, puta? We are gonna experience, experience, experiment with this hack that I saw on TikTok. So I just like using a tiny brush to highlight my nose, put a little there, just a little. This brush is very flimsy, so it doesn't even, like, you know, get in the way of anything or pack on too much. All right, and by Laura, because it's straight up. This is glitter. But then on my hand, it does give, like, a glowy effect, but still... I'm gonna have to play around one of these days like when I have spare time or the energy to do it because it's a, like a full commitment okay so on TikTok I saw that now I've had this pencil for a very long time I think I used it two three times because I also got it from Ipsy so this is the benefit high brow pencil right and it comes in like this pinky shade but the girl, she like made her blush look more precise. So let me just put a little bit and see what happens. Because it's very fair shade. And I'm probably, yeah, let me use my concealer brush just to see. Because she basically blended it out, which then made her face have more of a chop. Yo, look at this side. And look at that. I can see it, bitch. Okay. I love when a hack actually works. I was like, this hack I will try on camera because it's not that risque. So I'm just gonna. Yo, this is crazy. It's actually, and by the way, the pencil is so creamy from Benefit. It's so creamy. So like. It's not even like gonna be like hard to drag. It's so simple to use. Yo. It's giving snatched. It's giving I'm a bad bitch. Uh, 
I like it. Okay, now she put it like here. Uh, I'm not doing that. Uh, I don't trust it. <laughs> However, I will try it and let everybody know. Make sure that you are following me on TikTok. It is Paya Alexander. Okay, now we're gonna get into more fun stuff. Okay, the last piece of the collection is the Chucky lip kit i think that this color works for chucky it's kind of like his skin color but it's got a red undertone to it like his hair um there is a tiffany lip kit i should probably get it like for collector's reasons these are so affordable like i think this is like around 20 i'll double check but you get the pencil and uh the correlating lipstick um yeah just for collector's purposes because i don't really wear that sort of like color i can't explain the tiffany one but it's really not my thing but this is my jam right here the chucky look is like hello more amazing packages okay so Look, even the print on the inside of the box, like Glam Light. I am such a fan of this brand now. This is amazing. Like, I'm literally blown away. I'm so impressed. And keep it up, Glam Light. Keep it up. So, I did swatch. What the? Piece of napkin. Cut shit. <sighs> Only me. <clears throat> okay, so I swatched the pencil and the lipstick. I told y'all. I was excited, but I never swatched the uh, eyeshadow because I wanted it to look fresh. So this is the Chucky pencil. Let's get up and close. Little hearts. Like everything they committed. And this is a nice ass brown, the sort of brown that she, me, her likes. It's a reddish brown, and I've been on the hunt for that. So let's see. Actually, no, I need to re. Yeah. All right, so just to give a clean base, I'm just going to whatever concealer is on my beauty blender, just to give it a nice flat base. And I'm putting on Chucky. The, the way this is so beautiful make me not even want to use it, like sharpen it, but yeah. I have this little freckle. I have a lot of freckles, like all over, little moles and shit. But it's this one freckle down here that I'm always like, it kind of make, to me, it's distracting as fuck. But it's literally just under the lip. Cute mole. Um, She she is very distracting, okay? Because I'd be like, damn, does my lip look uneven or something? Like I made a mistake, you know? Alrighty, I'm done, done with it, I'm done, I'm all done, 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 now that's some New York shit, I'm done, done, huh. sometimes I miss Brooklyn, but then other times I see stuff and I be like, yeah, I don't miss that, I miss my friends, but um, then I look at the news, I be like, no, I'm good, <laughs> okay, all right, now for the Chucky lipstick. Um, if I can get it out, uh, I'm not breaking a nail. Let me use, there we go. Why well, use a brush, y'all, to get underneath? I don't care. So, now, 
Okay, so now we have the matte lipstick. Look at that, like they really just committed. I love it. Okay, and they put the bleeding hearts. Can y'all, wait, am I pointing? Yeah, the bleeding hearts are on the actual bullet. I love that. And now we put it in the middle, Chucky. This is beautiful. It's like a pinky, warm nude. Now, would I wear this eye with this color? No. Um, so I get why they put this. It's more sellable. People will wear it. It's, it's very beautiful. However, this and this to me, to me, again, there's no rules to make. I, I'm just trying to recreate Tiff, but this is the Chucky lip kit, so it's not Tiff. So this is everything this is the combo and this doesn't nothing about this feels cheap literally nothing not even the mirror that was 15 zuolas doesn't feel cheap this this is amazing i'm obsessed this is my new best friend it's gonna be so nice okay so this is how it looks blend it all out this is a beautiful everyday lip go to work in this lip everything now me being the badass that i am i will go to work with this dramatic eye look because uh, who gonna check me boo nobody i'm gonna do what i want to do ask my daddy <laughs> so pretty okay so i'm gonna take this off and i'm gonna go for what's in my collection that i feel is just true to punk rock true to tiff herself the living legend because her spirit is still living the vessel passed away but her spirit is very much alive and i'm put this back in here because i'm telling y'all like this is collector dream for me right now <laughs> okay all right let me take all of this off and i'll be back y'all this is just um disclaimer this is concealer whatever was left on my beauty blender don't come for me my lips is not crusty sis <laughs> period. period so the product i'm gonna show is discontinued i bought it uh during the holiday season uh because they were getting rid of their last bit of stock however you can use any brand okay this is my favorite Fenty formula, actually, the Mademoiselle. Don't know why these were discontinued. They were so fun, so colorful, badass, risk taker. And then now it's like, oh. I love Fenty, but the lip colors, I'm like, come on, guys, have fun. So anyway, this is effing black, literally fucking black. That's the name of it, fucking black, because black don't crack. I'm black, y'all. All right, so I'm gonna put on this black lipstick just because the eye and this keeping everything smoky is way more Tiffany than the Chucky color to me. Okay, so let's get this on. All right, the black lipstick is on. Feel me, Tiffany is like, watch this, ah, watch this. Because this right here, yeah, yeah, Tiff would wear black. Or that really, really, really deep red that she uses that's damn near black, she would do that. So, but I'm going with the black because I love black lipstick. I think black lipstick doesn't get enough shine. Like, look how good this looks. I'm not even trying to be conceited, bitch. But, like, look, the proof is in the pudding. Like, black lipstick is sexy. Mine ain't perfect right now for what it's worth. But y'all get my dress. <laughs> so yeah, like black, 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 black lipstick, fluffle, fluffle lipstick. Black lipstick is where it's at. Don't be intimidated by it because it looks beautiful, and you can 
this is a heavy day when you're just going for this sort of dramatic look but you could literally put bronzer all over your lids put a little glitter in your inner corner some liners do your mascara and black lipsticks and go literally that's like a 10 minute or less routine and it's so worth it because i just love it okay so let me shut up and we're gonna get into our swatches So now let's get into swatching this palette. This palette is so freaking beautiful. Like, I really can't hype it up enough. Like, Glam Light, y'all are the shit for this. This officially, like, I was tempted, but this made me a fan when y'all did this. So I'm going to start light to dark. All right, so let's get Wanna Play good guys bad gals now there's no why but i just have to say bad gal like that and then chucky and tiff forever now here's how they look on the hand so now i'm going to just swatch them real quick for you all right this is gonna be a long one. Oh. oh yeah these are swatching beautifully I love that. So it's like a taupey. Good Guys is like a taupey gray on me. Then there's a bluish gray that says want to play. Like, you know, like Chucky always, you want to play? Want to play? All right, let me get a napkin for all of this. What was I thinking? Uh, wipe off my hands. Yo, these are even, like, hard to get off my hand. Like, that's how highly pigmented this palette is, and I love that for us. Us. You watching. I love that for us. I'm encouraging it for us because it's so affordable. I think it's, like, $34. All right, so now I am getting scarier than ever the last in the top row. Ooh, and by the way... Their mattes are so buttery, it's not even funny. All of these, they feel moist. They just feel just so high quality. And yeah, whoo, baby. So this is Home 666. I like to be hugged and PayPal's. Oh, bitch. I'm in love. I'm in love with the tipper. I don't know. I'm so corny. I'm so corny sometimes. Their mats feel like freaking butter. Nothing about it is dry. Everything is on fucking point. Like, I am just... I'm really speechless. This is amazing. And I wish I didn't sleep on this brand for so long. Because I'm kind of an eyeshadow snob. I'm really hard to impress. And so when I think indie, I'm like... I don't know if it's good because even the mainstreams, they, they be messing up too. So I'm like, damn, like, is it is it just me? But lo and behold, the indies put so much of their hearts into, you know, their palettes. You know, it's just them. It's more organic, you know. So anywho, now I'm going to take its, sh oops, my damn nails. Now I'm going to do its showtime. Oh, gorgeous. Till death do us part. Okay. Then we're going to be your pal since 96. It's like this black. Oh, okay. So this is gunmetal. This feels wet. Like I'm telling y'all this right here is amazing. Okay. And oh, sorry. And then he's back. Okay. Stop playing with me. Oh, wow. This is a beautiful. Your pal since 96. Wait till y'all see it on me. Okay. Because this is something to behold. Oh. I don't know why. Like when, I, when my arm is like this, it's like, but now I'm like, <laughs> 
So this is so far. We have three more to swatch. Okay, guys? We're almost there. We're almost there. I'm just wiping and wiping and wiping and wiping. Yeah, these bases are so strong, and I'm glad because that's giving you more impact of a color. And dare I say it's better than some mainstream brands? Yep. Now, the last three I am going to do. Oh, let's be friends. Oh, buttery, bruh, and that's a matte. Then Charles Lee Ray, so this is chucky's actual shade i figured as such um because this is more red and this is more cool and that's both of their vibes and then free hugs which is literally just a pitch black however you guys can use black um as a base and whatever color of glitter that you put on top it amplifies it it's just an old um makeup trick that really really works so I'm gonna put let's be friends a little more. Oh my god, my my nail keeps nick nip nicking them. Okay, and then the Charles Lee Ray. Oh, I love it. I'm gonna put a little more because of my tattoos. And the true black. Now this true black is going to work for not only this palette, but whatever palette. If I was to put true black in my inner corners and put the silver on top. It would have been blinding, like I promise you. That's how they work. So, these are the swatches. Why won't, Why do my skin do that? Like, oh, goodness. So beautiful. I love it. I'm impressed. That's hard to do. <laughs> Period. Okay, guys, so if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It helps with the channel. My final thoughts is absolutely amazing. I'm literally obsessed. I love Glam Lights formula. Everything is so buttery, the color payoff, everything. Like, look, my hands are still, like, with all of the, the base of each shadow to do this. Like, this is amazing, guys the look i love the look i had fun with it took me out of my typical zone this is about as punk rock as i'm gonna get you know i do like doc martens but like you know not all the time but for tiff i had to show out for my girl tiff thank you guys so much for watching i'm bunny with the beauty again and you're watching the caldwell show thank you guys bye <laughs>